Ladies and gentlemen, welcome along to the Autosport stage here at Autosport International. For the next half an hour, something slightly different. Um, and I hope you'll forgive us for saying that here on the Autosport stage this year, we are missing one of our team rather badly, it's fair to say. Um, when I got a phone call about three months ago, asking me to do interviews on the Autosport stage. It was a really hard phone call to deal with because um, it's an amazing gig to get. Working on the Autosport uh, stage is something we all aspire to if we're an interviewer or a presenter. Um, so I was extremely flattered to be asked, um, but it was horrible circumstances under which I was asked to do it because the bloke who made this stage his own was firstly a very good mate of mine for 20 years. I've known his wife for a, a similar amount of time. I know all his family. I've worked with him. I have laughed um, probably more than any grown man should laugh. And we're talking about Henry Hope Frost, who brought um, a fever to the Autosport International show and to the stage, the like of which I don't think anybody else could quite have brought. He was a quite remarkable individual. I took the job here on the Autosport stage because I knew that if Henry had been unable to do the job himself, he would have rung me up and said, um, I don't suppose, Al, you'd like to do a few interviews on the stage, would you? And I'd have said, I shall do that for you without a problem. So that's why I'm here. I had one diva demand of, of working on the stage at Autosport, and that was that we would keep the fever going on the Autosport stage. And I said, could I please have a small fever Henry Hope Frost lapel badge, which, as if by magic, appeared and was given to me on Thursday morning, for which I will thank everybody at Motorsport Network for making sure that that happened. Um, Henry is irreplaceable. All of you that have heard Henry and watched Henry over the years, were friends of him, he's on Twitter, um, will know just what an irreplaceable character he was. He was so irreplaceable um, that although I was asked to do interviews, the job that one man did in Henry Hope Frost now falls in my hands and Stuart Codling's hands. Two blokes to do one man's job. Um, and uh, I think that's a, a measure of the bloke. He was really quite remarkable. I think now is a really good time to remember just how remarkable Henry was and to look back on a few of the highlights of Henry Hope Frost on the Autosport stage. Good morning, race fans. Welcome to Autosport International. Here on the live stage, I'll be talking to uh, a whole host of great racing drivers from Formula One, sports cars, touring cars and rallying and club racing all the way down, representing the full spectrum of racing. Martin Brundle and John Surtees. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Please welcome Derek Warwick. You see, I told you the crowd would come flocking, Petter. You do look good for 50, I'll tell you. Oh, yeah, okay, oh. come on. <laughs> Just light up. Hey, <laughs> you lunatic. Ladies and gentlemen, Toby Moody. Please welcome Mr. David Coulthard. Have we got any British Touring Car Championship fans in the house? It's only Sky Sports F1's David Croft. I'm not going to say a word now after that introduction. How are you, mate? Please welcome John Todd. As Benny used to say, we must sleep in the same bed. So. That's the quote of the weekend. Please welcome the British racing hero, Damon Hill. Thank you, Henry. Um, You've done a great job. I think everyone's uh, really appreciated your work. So You're very kind. You're very kind. I've spoken to a lot of people. You've been my favourite in the past 10 minutes. Tremendous. Tremendous. had some fantastic people on the stage here, some giants of motor racing. So Jackie Stewart, Sterling Moss, Jensen Button, John Surtees, World Rally Champions, Walter Ruhl, Petter Solberg. This next half hour, 
I know already will be my favorite moment of all the interviews I've done. How cool is that? Honestly, wow. It's a funny it's old a funny world, world, isn't it? Deserves a round of applause, everybody. Henry was a quite remarkable individual. Henry's family are pretty remarkable as well. We lost Henry to uh, a road accident uh, just a few months after Autosport International last year. It was a huge shock to all of us, to everybody that knew him, to everybody that followed him, to the whole motor racing world, to be honest. But um, I think prob probably two people that knew more than anyone else just what a remarkable chap he was are his father and his son. And they're both here today. Would you please welcome two Hope Frosts, Tim, his dad, and Oscar, his son. Hello chaps, um, I, I, I will say the fever lives on because Oscar loves his motor racing more than any and I think you Tim are responsible for it because you first gave them the love of four-wheeled motorsport to Henry. Guilty as charged. And, and we thank you for it because he was a re remarkable individual wasn't he? Let's talk about him, his love of motorsport first of all. What a knowledge, where on earth did he get it from? Not going to school when he should have done. Absolutely. I'm not sure where the knowledge came from. Uh, certainly the incentive came from me, having started him as a mechanic at the age of 11 uh, on my car. So, but the knowledge he did accrue himself just because he was very keen on it. He had a, a unique knowledge of motorsport. He went on the television on a show called You Bet and had to name, I can't remember what it was, it was 20... Um, engine and car and driver combinations and I think he fell at one and he was only 20 odd years of age it was uh, it, absolutely incredible his knowledge was was huge as a family member as a son and as a, a father he was a pretty remarkable individual as well Tim well yes he was yes I think um, my abiding memory will always be Henry's sense of humor because that came over what, in whatever he did, uh, there was a huge amount of piss taking going on <laughs> at all times, as you can imagine. Uh, this was at school where it got him into a lot of trouble. It was at home and it was in our workshops where we were laughing so much we very rarely did a full day's work. To give you some idea of you know, what he was like. It totally does, Tim. The other thing that I will say um, is just how beautifully your family have pulled together at a horrible time to give each other strength. It's um, been quite remarkable, quite remarkable to watch. And well, I thank you for that. And at the same time, I would like to thank everybody who has given Henry a lot of love and affection over his career. This was something that really bowled me over with the generosity and the beautiful things people have said about him at all times and this has made a huge difference to our our grief at, at such a sad event so by and large certainly from my point of view the grief has been completely uh, replaced by pride proud dad proud son uh, oscar do, do you want would you like to say a couple of words or can we just yeah, say I don't mind go on yeah well in which case We've got a proud dad on one side, who's your granddad, and I'm going to guess a very proud son. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. It's, uh, I think everyone that's supported him has been great towards us as well, me and my mum. And are you going to keep the fever going through the family? Yeah. Your passion for four-wheeled racing and two-wheeled yeah, racing continues, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. You're looking forward to meeting a few stars today. At yeah, the hopefully, Sports yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I've started watching F1 a lot now, with all the Grand Prix on, on Sunday, hopefully when they start again soon. So yeah, that'll be good. You're a very brave young man, Oscar, Thank coming you. out here yeah. on the stage to um, show your respect for uh, a guy who was so loved 
in the world of motorsport and I think you all realise just how, how loved he was. Tim and Oscar Hope Frost, everybody. I promise you we are going to keep the fever going here on the Autosport stage and it will continue year after year after year. I'm going to introduce you now to one of Henry's colleagues, a friend, um, and he is the Motorsport Network Editor-in-Chief to tell us all exactly how we're going to keep that fire burning and the fever flowing here on the Autosport stage. Please welcome Andrew van der Burt. Hello, Alan. V to B. We are going to keep the fever flowing on this here stage, and we've got a very good way of making sure that it does. Yeah, absolutely, Alan. And first of all, I want to say uh, what a fantastic job both you and Stuart have done uh, dealing you. with the, these uh, stage interviews this weekend and have really kept up the standard that Henry had set that bar so high. So Thank you, mate. Very Thank well you. done on the work you're doing. Thank you. Um, but as you said, uh, when the news came through and we'd had the, the chance to digest it, we knew we had to do something to try and keep Henry's memory at this show alive because they became so symbolic. Uh, and we had to do something that represented what that hashtag fever really means. And that, if you don't really know, and the fact that you're here means you probably do, it's that deep joy of all good things about motorsport. Whether it's a four-wheel drift, whether it's somebody trying something that doesn't really work, or just the sheer beauty of, say, that 935 replica over there, you know that you've got fever if you love that. So what we wanted to do was try and find the next group of people or person that would have that fever. And the Henry Hope Frost Fever Award is for the most up and best up-and-coming young journalist. And that will be a prize of a year's paid internship at Autosport, where they will be a full-time series correspondent. So they will get to go... Wow to cover a full championship, whether that's national or international, and really make their mark in a sport and become indelibly linked to this brand that we all so dearly love. v b thank you to Motorsport Network for, for doing this. It's, uh, it's fitting. It deserves a round of applause, please, everyone, because they've made sure that this happens. We've got the trophy here. Um, the trophy's in the box. That must mean that we have an, an inaugural recipient. Indeed we do. Go on. Um, do we have a name, b to b You're not going to get a name just yet, so I'm going to give some sort of subtle hints. Um, and it's very in keeping with what Henry would have approved of. This person first joined us at the age of just 16 years old, but even then she showed the ability to be able to be sent out on her own to cover a, a national club event. Uh, in the time in between then, she's shown an amazing amount of attention to detail and knowledge, which obviously when Henry works as a sub-editor on the magazines, you would find out if you got something wrong, <laughs> and no mistake. Uh, as well as being a fantastic writer and someone we have a real belief is going to be a part of a great new generation of, uh, of journalists working for us. So I would be uh, very hopeful that Lucy Mawson is just about to come up those stairs to become the first uh, winner of this award. Lucy Mawson, everybody, deserves a huge round of applause and the inaugural recipient of the Henry Hope Frost Hashtag Fever Award. <laughs> well done, Lucy. Wow. A few words with Tim, a handshake with Oscar, a handshake with Vida B. You have to sit there. And now, <laughs> are you still a bit shaky, Lucy? Yeah, um, I'm going to have to try not to cry because I am a crier. Um, I'm also a very ugly crier, and I really can't have these images of me howling. Um, broadcast across the hall. Um, yeah, I'm probably not going to be very effusive or, I, you know, I just don't really know what to say. Um, okay. Thank you well, so I'll, very much. I'll help you along the way because you've been, um, in the true spirit of the award, you've been beavering away behind the glass in the, in the newsroom for the last <laughs> two and a half days, haven't you? Yeah. Um, yeah. So I've been working with the, with the dot com team this weekend. Um, yeah. Um, which I've done a little bit of. I do sort of one day a week in the office um, and have done for the last few weeks or so. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I've been up to um, this weekend. I wish I'd put some, I don't know, done my hair or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, Your hair looks fine. Oh, thank you. No, it, honestly, it does. Um, and um, an internship. Wow. Yeah. Goodness me. It's, um, 
yeah, that's uh, I don't really know what to say, but um, I'm finishing uni in a few months' time, so that's uh, that's certainly making that a little bit less daunting, um, a little bit less terrifying than it than it was five minutes ago. <laughs> so um, yeah, no, thank you, thank you so much, and to receive this, um, I'm truly humbled, um, and yeah, I don't know how to say this without being ridiculously cliched or. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm truly humbled, and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you know the, the faith that was shown in me by everybody in the Autosport Academy, whether that's sort of Matt Beer to begin with, um, or um, you know anybody else, everybody that's oh, I'm so sorry <laughs> um, that's that's worked with me ever since and, and really believed in me. Um, Bless you, you're shaking like a leaf. Yeah. Don't drop the trophy. <laughs> I know, class. I'm onto it really tight. I'm very clumsy as well. So, oh, can I just say that it's absolutely imperative that you've concentrate on finishing your degree first. We are going to wait. It doesn't matter, you know. We'll, we'll be patient on this. Okay, thank you. Quite right, too. A, a round of applause, if you please, for Lucy, who is the first recipient of the Henry Hope Frost Hashtag Fever uh, Award. Um, I don't know if any of you know uh, that much about working in the media world. It is almost impossible to keep a secret, and we've had to keep that a secret from you for quite some considerable time. Thank you so much. Well done, Lucy. And uh, I know you'll cherish the award the first time. Well done. Um, maybe an opportunity for a photograph. I'll get out of the way, um, but uh, an opportunity with the four of you. We're a photograph with Lucy as well. And... Lucy should be in the middle, if you can still hold the trophy. Malcolm Griffiths, who is also a, a very good friend of Henry's, is here to, um, to get the picture. And maybe with a, a final round of applause uh, for Lucy, everyone. Congratulations. A huge thank you to Andrew van der Burt, to Oscar and Tim Hope Frost, and well done to Lucy. Henry would most definitely approve. Um, we are not finished with our fever here on stage, remembering Henry Hope Frost, because uh, we have spoken about what a, an amazing and rather wicked sense of humour Henry possessed. Um, he was a great friend to many drivers and I've picked out just one to get on here who Henry knew very well and the both of them got on very well spent far too much laughing too much time laughing together um, to, uh, a former touring car champion Andrew Jordan if you please onto the stage they were colleagues at Goodwood and the reason that I asked Andrew to come along we had a memorial service for um, for Henry which was um, a, a, just a wonderful event um, at his beloved Goodwood Circuit, place that you, Andrew, work quite a lot as well with your historic racing. And you two became good friends and you weren't able to make it to Henry's Memorial. And I felt so sorry for you because you had things that you wanted to say. You two were mates, weren't you? Yeah, we were. And um, I, I first met Henry probably 10 years ago coming here and, um, and we'd do the usual stage interviews with the touring cars. Uh, touring car drivers and um, and then got much closer to him with my work at Goodwood over the last few years and um, his sense of humour is what always stood out to me because it, man it was wicked that it was, was the, a that good was sense thing, of humour he could give it and he could take it which was the, the, the funny thing and just when you thought you'd come back with a good comeback to Henry he'd just shoot you down in flames with another one so um, but we used to you know we, with some of the work I did at Goodwood we I remember a couple of test days I'd be on and um, we were sat in the sun, and he used to come and all steal some of my Red Bull. And we were sat in the sun eating cakes, and we were almost laughing, going, God, we're getting paid to do this. This is pretty <laughs> cool, sitting there quite smug, the fact that he was doing something he absolutely loved and by far knew the most about motorsport. I, I heard, heard a story once that at Goodwood they were doing some live streaming or something, and they, they, there'd been a bit of a mix-up, so they, were, they had to film, I think, 15 or 20 minutes. And they said, um, right, we need 20 minutes on Porsche 917, Henry. I think it was a Porsche 917. And like it had been scripted, he just reeled off 20 minutes worth of facts about a Porsche 917. So he was, he was very, very special. He was an amazing guy, and one of the things that made him so amazing here on the Autosport stage and doing all the jobs that he did, um, uh, namely being main commentator and uh, one of our presenters, on Radio Goodwood for many, many, many years um, was the marriage that he could make between humour and his knowledge as well. Yeah, and we always used to laugh because we, 
before we'd come on, we'd try and get a word that we were going to say to try and throw Henry off, like, you know, behind there. And, um, and the words would get kind of a bit more risky and risky. You'd up the game and you'd a say, bit. I think we've got him this time. He is not <laughs> going to be able to keep a straight face. And he'd give you a sly little smile and carry on at his work. And he'd go, and he'd like, how are you? like, we're in hysterics when we go out the back. And he's just there, just like, water off a duck's back. So. You're hearing the secrets now, everybody. You think it's all so slick and professional but, on and then the sometimes, stage. Because the, the mickey taken, as I say, was always two ways. And, and um, a couple of years ago, we... <laughs> We gave him quite a hard time out here, which he loved. He thrived off that because he'd give it straight back. And um, we, we walked out the back and thought, oh, I don't know if we went a bit far with him there. And he came out and then he was in hysterics. He loved it. So, yeah, he, he, was, he was really a, a pleasure to work with and, and just a, an absolute model on someone that loved life, loved his work, loved his family and was a, a special person. You know, I, I haven't known him for a, a huge amount of time compared to some, but you just saw the amount of um, messages and... and from worldwide, not just in the UK, he's uh, a special human being. It was quite amazing. We missed the guy terribly. We'll never get over missing him, that's for sure. And we can be certain that we will remember him forever. Henry O. Frost and the Fever Award, the hashtag Fever Award, will continue for as long as we exist, which is a fantastic thing. We spoke to Andrew. They worked together at uh, Goodwood. I worked on uh, Goodwood Radio for many, many years. When presenting it one morning, something rather peculiar evolved. And uh, what you are about to hear and the images that you're about to see alongside is something that happened with Henry. These things just kind of happened. Enjoy this. Gate four is currently closed. You need to uh, aim for car park A or M. That's A for Alpha and M for McLaren, Henry. You're wrong. Yes, sorry. I, yes, I, yes. <laughs> so very wrong. I must remember to use the fever phonetic alphabet. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Yes. Alpha, Alpha McLaren. Alpha Bentley Cadillac DeLorean. <laughs> um, Engelbert <laughs> Ferrari. Yeah, go, go, on, go, go on, go yeah. on, come Gordini, on, you can do it. Gordini. Come on, you can Gord do it. Gordini. Um, Henry. Uh, Henry, <laughs> yeah. Um, Ix. Um, Jerry. Uh, J Jaguar. <laughs> uh, Kling. Um, Mansell. Nuvolari. Nuvolari. Um, uh, uh, Oscar. 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 Um, you, missed Porsche, out, you missed out L. Uh, Kester. Lancia. Um, Lancia. Uh, Renault. Renault. Shelsley. Uh, Shelsley. <laughs> <laughs> Talbot. Um, uh, you. You. Ullenhout. Ullenhout. <laughs> <laughs> v. Victory. Victory. Uh, Vic uh, Elford. Yeah. <laughs> Vic. Um, w w w Williams. 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 <laughs> uh, uh, X. X rated. <laughs> Javier. Javier. Up at the rally stage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, why? Yannick. Yokohama. Yannick. 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 <laughs> and Zanotti. Zanotti. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so, Henry, you've done maths this morning and now your letters. Well done, sir. <laughs> so, it's gate oh. A for Alpha, oh. M for McLaren. I think, I think there are thousands of people turning their radios off. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing yeah. them out the window. Apologies. Yeah. The fever phonetic alphabet. Absolutely out of nowhere. Radio <laughs> gold.